And so this, again, this will not be a problem because she's, Joanne Reed is willing to do the bidding of the corporation whenever she's told. And, uh, but this is, this is kind of funny. To me, it's funny to watch how kind of crazy this is. Okay, watch this. You know, them scuffling, shooting paintballs at people, getting in the mix with, with people. Is that patriotic activity? I don't think the president's seen that video, nor have I. You know, when, 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 th when leaders, um, let's say in the Muslim world, talk a lot of violent talk and encourage their supporters to be willing to commit violence, including on their own bodies, in order to win against whoever they decide is the enemy. We in the U.S. media describe that as they are radicalizing those people, particularly when they're radicalizing young people. That's how we talk about the way Muslims act. When you see what Donald Trump is doing, is that any different? <laughs> First of all, I like how she doubled down and said Muslims twice. She didn't just say it once. Muslims do violent stuff. I can't think of any other group of people around the world where some members who identify with that group do violent things. So Muslims, let's just pick Muslims. Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. Why does my panel look so uncomfortable? <laughs> <laughs> Islamophobia at the top, delusional statements about Trump at the bottom. This is your progressive network, folks. This and I like this tweet. This isn't even subtle. It's blatant Islamophobia by Joanne Reed. That was kind of nuts. That was kind of it's kind of nuts. Here's another one. Alex Koch says uh, after having a body language expert on her show to malign Bernie Sanders, Joy Reed <laughs> was recently elevated to a nightly primetime slot slot on MSNBC. Uh, I guess Joy Reid has a public position and a blogger position, I'm guessing. <laughs> Joy Reid first just throws out Muslim leaders, encouraging their followers to use their bodies to inflict violence. Which leaders? Then compares how Muslim... Which leaders? Which leaders? You know, uh, uh, Joy Reid, uh, uh, she says something, and Jimmy, he do not know which leaders. You are the best hypocrite exist today who claim that you don't take side. So look at this guy. When the woman, she said the word Muslim, he opened his eyes like, what? Huh? 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 Did you, did you see how he opened his, uh, he took his glasses too? <laughs> so who is ISIS and who is Al-Qaeda and who is Saddam Hussein and who is Husni Mubarak and who is uh, 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 Abbas and Yasser Arafat and the Assad, uh, you know, and, and Erdogan who just took a church and he kept reciting the Quran, Allahu Akbar doing jihad. You did not hear about the Muslim leader who used Islam as a reason for violence. He never heard. He never heard. What Muslim leaders? Reed was recently elevated to a nightly prime. Donald <laughs> Trump is doing. Is that any different? <laughs> Encourage their support. Did you look, look at his eyes? I mean, like what? This is surprise. So you liar, you hypocrite. Why you need to take a car and go to the airport two hours before the flight? Is it because of Muslim leaders? Starting from Muhammad, who ordered jihad. Like you do not know that everything we have is because of Muslim leaders starting from Muhammad. And she pick up in Muslims. If we go right now and search in the attack happened just last month. How many of them is done by the Christians? How many done by the Jews? How many done by the Hindus? How many done by the, the, the atheists? And how many done by Muslims? Look at him. Like what? You must be kidding me. Muslim leaders. <laughs> you are the best example of hypocrisy. You don't dare to say it. She dare to say it. You are a coward. You are literally a coward. Joe bite me. I call him Joe bite me. He said something very important, exposing those lies. By the way, this guy he claimed that Joe Bite Me is a stupid. Is you are the you are more stupid than Joe Bite Me. At least Joe Bite Me he bite when he talk, which means he says stupid things, exposing what happened. Listen to Joe Bite Me, Mister. Which leaders? Which leaders you are talking about? Which leaders? You don't know which leaders. 
The Turks were great friends, and I have a great relationship with Erdogan, which I've just spent a lot of time with. The Saudis, the Emiratis, etc. What were they doing? They were so determined to take down Assad and essentially have a proxy Sunni Shia war. What did they do? They poured hundreds of millions of dollars. They have what? They have what? Proxy Shia Sunni war. So what they were using? Islam. How many leaders he counted in just a little second? The Turkey, Erdogan, the King of Saudi Arabia, Emirat, and etc. Which mean all of them. But Jimmy, he never heard of this. This is not true. I mean, she is Islamophobic. You bunch of cowards, because you don't dare to speak against Islam, so you choose the safe side. Anyone you want to flame him, sorry, you want to label him. Excuse my English, it's not my first language. You want to label him, huh? You want to uh, disrespect him, you want to demonize him, uh, you want to bully him. This is a bully. What the woman she said, even though I don't agree with many things she say, the second she says something truthful, all of you are all over her. Suddenly she is not even a black. Suddenly some people are ashamed of her to be black. Coward. What those Muslim, what Muslim leaders did, they were supporting ISIS and Al Qaeda through Turkey, under the approval of the Muslim Obama. Why Obama allow it? You see here, Joe Biden, he is saying our friend, blah 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 blah, is talking too much, saying something doesn't make sense, because he he understood very well that those countries, Muslim countries, they are making a Shia Sunni war. So why you support such a war? And why Obama sent more than 500, 600 million dollars to support such a war? When the war, obviously, it is a Sunni, Shia war. What does that mean? Everything, every single bullet in this war was under the name of God, which is Allah. Listen carefully. Down Assad and essentially have a proxy Sunni, Shia war. What did they do? They poured hundreds of millions of dollars and tens thousands of tons of weapons into anyone who would fight against Assad except that the people who were being who were being supplied were al Nusra and al Qaeda and the extremist elements of jihadis coming from other parts of the world but Jimmy he did not know that she is Islamophobe so when the money is coming, coming in the name of what? In the name of Jihad. So when the king of Saudi Arabia he announced in the mosque, collect donation to Syria, what they do? Allahu Akbar, let us fight the Shia, let us fight the Jews, Allahu Akbar, bring, you know, and the people start donating and the money go to Syria. But Jimmy, he do not know. Look at his eyes. Surprise, surprise. Look at this. This is the mask of Zora. Take off your mask, you coward. You claim to be an honest, in pers or honest person who say things as it is. But the fact you are a hypocrite. You are a truly hypocrite. Even when Saddam Hussein, he attacked Kuwait, he attacked in the name of Allah. When Haftar is fighting with the other side of Libya, they attack in the name of Allah. When Hamas attack Israel, they attack in the name of Allah. When the Assad says and, and, and the regime of Iran says death to America, death to Israel, in the name of Allah. And this guy, he did not know which leaders we are talking about. I mean, he never heard. Coward, hypocrite. And we are here to get you busted. Those are liars. They ride the wave. You know when there is a wave? Whatever the wave. If the, if the wave, as long the wave will carry them to a position or to a place, they will take it. Doesn't matter if it is a hypocrisy wave, uh, Islamoph Islamophobe, you guys, Islamophobe. What is Islamophobe? Nobody have a phobia as much as Muslims. They have phobia from the pork, from the cross, from the prayer, from the, from the Bible, from the Jews, from the Hindus, from the Buddhas, from the atheists, from the geese, from the lesbian. And yet they call anyone who speak against Islam, the second you speak against Islam, you are Islamophobe. Do you have the courage to examine what she said? Instead of making short statement, she said Islamic leaders. Why you don't check? Oh, suddenly he did not know about politics. Suddenly he did not know the news. Suddenly he never heard of, a, of an Islamic attack in the name of Allah. Which leaders? Imarat signed a peace agreement with Israel just two weeks ago. Go and see what the leaders they said. Allah will not forgive them. 
This is betrayed me to Allah. Erdogan. I mean, all of them. Go. But Jimmy, he did not hear that. What are you talking about? Coward, hypocrite, I have no respect to you. Download the video, share it with everybody, expose those liars. All of them, they are liars. They wear masks, they change their masks, depending on the location and the position and the time. They have no dignity. Cowards. And as you say, it's a show. You know, even he called it a show. Why you call it a show? Because it's a show. We show off stuff. We don't believe in it. It's a show. Even your, when you open your eyes, it, you, we can tell you are not even convinced of what you are acting with or about. We love the Muslims. We want to save them from the cult of Islam. And those who speak against Islam doesn't mean they hate Muslims. That is a lie. That is a lie. I'm not talking about this person there in the screen who suddenly became their enemy just because she said a statement have some, some truth in it. She just said the statement have some truth in it. Suddenly she became the devil. Hypocrite liars. So they praise you as long as you lie. Also, who is the one is doing the terrorist attacks for in around the world? They are not Muslims. Let us be, look what he said. Let us pick the let, pick, let us pick the Muslims. She picked the Muslims. I mean, out of everybody, she picked the Muslims. Hypocrite, liar, coward. She said the truth. This is not about Muslim. This is about Islam. Muslim leaders, when they go in a war with anyone to justify it, right away they start quoting the Quran. Kill the enemy. Kill the Christians. Kill the Jews. Qatilu. Kill who? Kill those who don't believe in Allah and the judge don't believe in Allah and, and the Prophet. Those who don't forbid what is forbidden by Allah and the Prophet. Those who don't want to acknowledge the religion of the Prophet. This Quran is Muhammad is the highest leader for the Muhammadan leaders. Is the king of Jordan is a believer in this verse? The one you gave him a prize uh, of peace for, uh, uh, like, um, what a big, the biggest hypocrite in the world. This guy, he is descended supposedly from the family of Muhammad. And he believes in every single word in the Quran. And the Quran says, kill the Christians until they pay jizya. So you, you pay, you live. You don't pay, you die. And you have to be disrespected, humiliated. And you have to feel yourself with submission and subdued, like a, like, like a dog. But Jimmy, he never heard this. This is Muhammad is not a Muslim leader. Is Muhammad is a Muslim leader? No, he's not. He's a waiter. How Jimmy he will know? Jimmy he do not know because he have a show. And when you have a show, you do what your show need, not what you truthfully need to say. It's a show. Show me your hypocrisy, Jimmy. You are a hypocrite. I hope you will be brave enough to say you are wrong. I hope you are brave enough to apologize. So the one now he says Islamic terrorist, he is an Islamophobe. So it's not true. Ten years of horror and terror, slaughtering, killing, kidnapping, that is not Islamic. Al Qaeda, ISIS, Mujahideen, Al Shabab, Hizb al Tahrir, Islam, Muslim Brotherhood, all of this are not exist. Like what? What Muslim leaders? What are you talking about? Coward. Thank you for watching. May the Lord bless us all and protect us from the liars and their deception. The deception of those people are beyond imagination. No dignity. Hypocrisy. This guy, he claimed that he is not politically correct, but the fact he is, and he proved it today. Thank you for watching. Download and share, please.